we're going to work on context clues. Have you ever read a book and you come to a word and you have no idea what it means? And you wanna raise your hand and ask or say, hey mom, dad, grandma, uh, what's this word mean? But you can't, either nobody's around or everybody's busy. Well, how are you gonna figure out what that word means? So context clues are when you use clues in the reading, in the sentences right around it to figure out what that word means. A really good example of doing this is using the definitions. And sometimes there are examples right in your writing, um, in your reading, I mean. So let's check out your social studies book because there's a lot of context clues in your social studies book. So here's an example right here in your book where there's a word that's highlighted. So it says the word community. If you don't know what community means, Read the sentence around it. And this one actually gives you the definition of what a community is. A community is, ready, here's a definition, a place where people live, work, and have fun. So if you're like, what does community mean? That's where you live. I live in a community, Fort Wayne's community. I have fun in my community. I work in my community. So sometimes you'll find uh, the definition right there in the sentence. Let's see if we can find another example, and I'm sorry, another definition. I found another one here. It says natural resources. If you know what natural resources are, it, let's see if it gives us the definition. It says what they are. Um, they choose areas with good natural resources or something in nature that is useful to people. So a natural resource is something in nature that's useful to people. So like oil, that's in nature and it's useful to people. That would be a natural resource. Diamonds, that's found in nature and it's useful to people. I don't know how useful it is, but it's fancy. <laughs> So definitions sometimes will give you um, context, will, will work for context because it'll tell you what a word means. But there's another one we're gonna learn about. The other one is called an example. And instead of telling you what it is, it gives you an example of one. So an example of an example of a context clue is if I had the sentence, um, Mrs. Yonke was using a device like a tablet to teach online learning. So a device, an example of a device is tablet. So that kind of tells you a device is gonna be some kind of technology. All right, so let's see if we can find some examples in our social studies book. Here's an example I found. It says people might participate in their favorite activities. And if you don't know what an activity is, it gives you examples such as gardening, riding bicycles, or riding bicycles, or playing a sport. So an activity would be playing a sport, an activity could be riding a bicycle, or it could be gardening. So it gave you examples. If you didn't know what an activity was, maybe now that helped you understand that word better. So here's another word, and you decide, is it telling you what it is, it's giving you the definition, or does it give you an example like what another one of those would be, or mineral? A mineral is a resource that does not come from an animal or plant. Mineral. Since it says it is something, that would be giving us the definition. It's just saying that's what it is. Not an example of one, but that's exactly what it is. An example of a mineral, so something that's not from a plant or animal, could be um, like a diamond, because that's not from a plant or an animal. So again, diamond would be the example, but this is actually telling you what it is. It's giving you the definition. Let's do one more. So here's another one. Um, I keep noticing an invention is, a telegraph is. If it says is, it's probably giving you the definition. But let's look at this one. It's the word patent. A patent gives a person the right to be the only one making or selling an invention. Is that a definition? It didn't say a patent is. So it does, is it a definition or is it giving you an example of a patent? It's a definition. Even though it doesn't say is, it's defining what it is. It's telling you what a patent is. A patent is something that gives a person the right to be the only one making or selling an invention, okay? I did find another one I wanted to point out. It wasn't a definition or um, an example, but it was one that we have already talked about. Um, right here, it says, if you don't know what a law is, it says they follow laws or rules. So if they give you another word that means the same thing, they're giving you a Synonyms. You can use synonyms to figure out what unknown words might mean. So now let's do an activity. I'm going to show you some um, words that you might not know, and you got to figure out what the words mean using context clues. So this one says, her quiet, timid, we're trying to figure out what timid means, her quiet, timid ways made us guess at her true feelings about the story because she kept her ideas to herself and never spoke in class. So based on the sentence, what do you think timid means? Boisterous, mean like loud, outgoing. 
kind or serious? Seriously. What do you think? So we're wondering what does timid mean? Let's see if I can write on this. I don't think it's letting me. Hmm. Oh, it went away when I did that. So timid, it gives me another word right here. Quiet. So timid, it's giving you a synonym. Timid and quiet would both kind of mean the same as someone who is shy. So the answer would be shy for that one. Okay, for our next example, we want to know what this word droned means. All right, so let's see if there's any clues that can tell us that. It was difficult to listen to Tommy speak because he droned on and on, just like a buzzer that won't stop buzzing. So if he was like a buzzer that wouldn't stop buzzing, does that mean droned means something's ideal, something's the same tone, something's lively, or something is scared? So kind of a hard one. But this one is giving you an example. If, it, if I had a buzzer that wouldn't stop buzzing, which one would you say that would be? Annoying, but that wasn't an option. The same tone would be, it's that same noise, not moving, going on and on. So droned would mean like you keep going on and on and talking and not stopping in the same voice. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so we want to figure out what does the word decor mean? It says the decor, including the fancy lights, beautiful paintings, and unique furniture made the house look stunning. So it gives you examples of decor. The decor would mean lights, paintings, furniture. So the decor would be like the decorations, the accessories. So those sometimes we get examples, sometimes we get the definition, antonyms or synonyms. We also have talked about prefixes, helping you to figure out what a word means. All right, so that is just a little snippet of um, using more context clues, and that's all for today. See you later.